Hi everyone, Deathclaw Girl here, and welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking, and by grabbing some of my free ebooks and audiobooks. Today I'm promoting Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series, and Monster of Monsters, a sci fi horror. You can read or listen to the first two stories of both these series for free. I have left the link in the description, and later on there'll be one in the upper right hand corner. And now to the video. I'm going to let Vampris take over the atomic shop. And that's it for me. So, Deathclaw Girl out. All right, Vampris. Ah, thank you, Deathclaw Girl. Let's immediately get into this because there's something I'm wanting to look at. It is called a mole rat a generator sweep. So, let us see what it is. So, it looks like you have a generator that is powered by mole rats so the mole rats are the ones that get to use this suite uh, but it does look really really cute uh, hopefully they will not escape your generator and attack you but hey you can't have everything right okay let's now look at the red rocket the paint and this is uh, for the dragon so if you've been wanting uh, something uh, for your dragon here is a nice set of paint for it. Uh, Halo and horn set just in time uh, for the Halloween season. So you can get a little uh, devilish or a little angel in you and you can walk around uh, the wasteland. Uh, haunted house. Okay, that is old stuff. We will come back if there is time. This is also old stuff. Come back. Let's see. Uh, Let's see if this is new. Yes, okay, so the Felgu bundle is uh, seven days left on it. it includes Halloween uh, ghoul player icon, which that kind of looks like both of these. A uh, frame, a spooky doorbell, Felgu castle, and the night tail goss rifle paint. Let's see what else. The Halloween Decoration Bundle, also seven days. It comes with Squish, oh, Squish, Squish Witch Halloween Decoration. There she is, planted right on the wall. Trick Candy Ball. Oh, it's also on the table. It's got the hand in the air. Vault Boy Vampire Cutout. Uh... Vault Boy, I don't know if it comes with the Vault Boy running away. Vault Boy Vampire Cut Help. I would say no. And then of course it comes with this Wraith a Scarecrow. Ooh, a spooky, huh? Let's look at just the ghoul outfit. A little bit of close up here. Has the mask and the overalls and your barefooted. Let's look at the trick candy bowl. Uh, let's see. Share your candy hole or get rid of your extra toothbrushes with the candy bowl. The candy bowl is a container which can dispense candy and other food in your camp. So it looks like you can load it up. Uh, I thought there were two candy bowls. I don't know if they're gonna have where you get the candy this year and then put it in your bowl. I'm, I'm not sure. The creepy well is back. If you don't own it yet. Uh, camp item. I do have it. I think it makes sound effects. I don't remember actually putting it out. I was excited to get it and then I forgot all about it. So now I'll need to go because it looks like we own it. Yes. This is awesome. You must have the pipe organ for any haunted house that you have it is the best the best of all the instruments it actually sounds like a pipe organ so there is here is a nice variant for your well-tuned instrument collection and it, it's a good size and i have been able to put the little skull uh, candles on it so it does look nice here's just the night tail gas rifle paint if you didn't want the entire collection 
and a raven perch, which we own. I we just put this out, the ravens will actually kind of flutter about and make noises. So this is another nice, nice addition to any haunted or creepy uh, theme that you're going to for for your. We actually put it in the shelter, so it does work in shelter. Okay, this is a repeat. We might come back. Oh, we got the uh, free caps today. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it for Dead Clocker. And here is the traveling salesman outfit. Uh, I think this is the one from Fallout 4. The dude that comes and greets you while you're in the opening scenes and lets you know that you got a space in the vault. I think this is his outfit. Does look nice. Alright, let's go. Oh, oh. Let's see. Already own this. I think this is just a poster. We're going to inspect. For information, head to interact with poster. Oh, this is actually to begin a quest. So definitely grab it if you haven't done this one. And that way you can uh, interact with the uh, poster so that you can start this quest with the sheep squash. Not squash, like bug. Squatch. Like, uh, like a sasquatch. Alright, uh... Quickly, I will just look at the haunted kit again. If you want in the building, and here's the porch and the stairs. A door. It's a nice looking door. I don't think it has any damage whatsoever. These are nice to grab because they can make anything look abandoned. And. Let's do, we skip this. We've done this many times and see if there's anything else we want to hit on again. We're going to hit on the mole rat generator one more time. It's a sweet, but only for your mole rats. So what it is, you will see at the top, there's some mole rats there. And uh, that must be the large one. Let's see. Looks like there are different sizes. This one's the huge one. It looks like it's got the little mole rat wheel on the end. I think we might grab this and do a uh, walk around. And then here's the smaller one with the, just the top. And then they even got the little, little, little baby generators with the mole rats. All right. That is actually it uh, for this atomic shop. We had a couple new things. Uh, looks like the mole rat generator suite that might be the top pick. If you're looking for a different skin for your generators, for your shelter, and I'm, I'm, ass I'm assuming shelter and camp. Um, otherwise, uh, that's it for me. Keep your fangs a sharp. I did find the glow in the dark fangs. I think I'm going to be sporting them this uh, Halloween. And uh, that's it. Goodbye.